Birds are some of the most gorgeous animals in the world, but in the US, we get a little screwed. Most birds here are way less beautiful than those you would find in places like the tropics. However, there is one US bird that completely breaks the mold and is so colorful that you can find every color of the rainbow on its body, if you really try. This is the legendary Painted Bunting, one of the most sought after and gorgeous species in the entire country. And I've come to West Texas to see in person just how beautiful this bird really is. So today we've come to Palo Duro Canyon, which is one of the most unique habitats in the country. It's got these huge deserty sloping cliffs and a very lush riparian habitat down below. And this attracts a bunch of different kinds of animals from reptiles, mammals, but what most people come here to see are the birds that this place has to offer. It has a wide variety of species, but one particular one attracts the interest of more people than any other, that being the painted bunting. And I've never seen one, so I really wanna get my eyes on one and especially get the cameras on it to share its beauty with the rest of you and hopefully we can all get a little more respect for the birds out there. So let's head down the canyon and hopefully see one of these amazing birds. You would think that finding an animal dressed like a gusher's packet would be pretty easy, but believe it or not, this is actually one of the most difficult birds in the entire country to see in the wild. These birds love hiding in really thick cover, which makes them incredibly difficult to spot, but luckily, I came at the one time of year where the odds should actually be stacked in my favor. This is the breeding season, where males will find an elevated surface to show off their colors and sing to win the attention of a female. Kind of like a drunk frat boy at a karaoke bar. So I'm hoping that I'll be lucky enough to find one of these perching sites and get one of these desperate males right in front of the camera. After a fair bit of hiking, a flash of color catches my eye, and although not a bunting, it was one of its colorful close relatives, the iconic Northern Cardinal. The Cardinal family, without a doubt, consists of the most beautiful birds in all of North America, including the Passerina, which the painted bunting happens to belong to. I not only filmed the male, but also the female of this famous bird, and although one of the prettiest birds in America, it doesn't hold a candle to the one I'm looking for. I also managed to scratch a few lifers off my list, like the black crested titmouse, but nothing could really fill the painted bunting sized hole in my heart. That was until I heard a sound I've been searching for all day, and now all I had to do was wait for my target to reveal itself. So the best way to find this bird is actually by listening. They have a distinct call that you can sort of track down, but when you get close, it is very hard to actually see the bird. They love very thick cover, and this camera zooms in a decent amount, but I need to be pretty decently close to get a good shot of this bird. But so far, I haven't seen any. I can only hear them. Let's hope that changes. Luckily, I didn't have to wait very long, because after just a few minutes, I finally found the bird that I was looking for. All right, so up in that tree, we actually have a painted bunting, and it's honestly more beautiful in person than I could thought. It's a little cloudy, so I'm not sure how well the camera is gonna pick up that color, but my God, the blue head, the red chest, the green, it, it almost looks like a lorikeet, like some sort of parrot. It is just simply stunning. Stunning indeed. I mean, come on, this bird is colorful enough to be the mascot of a gay pride parade. Like, just seeing this guy in person, it made me realize why the French named this bird Non Prachnifogne, which translates to without equal, because there's simply no bird in the United States as pretty as this. Now, even though this is a U.S. bird in the warm months, during winter, it'll actually migrate down to Mexico and Central America, where it spends its vacation socializing with the gorgeous locals kind of like what the human tourists do. Now something really interesting is that their diet does a total 180 during this trip. Over the winter, this guy eats almost entirely seeds, but when in the US, their diet switches over to invertebrates, including spiders. Now they really do spiders dirty because they not only eat them, but they'll eat the insects caught in the spider's web. That's like someone breaking into your house and eating the meatloaf you spent all day cooking and then eating you for dessert. It's, it's pretty brutal. Unfortunately, sightings like this are becoming rarer and rarer as more of the painted bunting's habitat is destroyed. But that's why state parks like this one are so special so that our feathered friends out there have a safe haven to live out their lives. And while in awe of the gorgeous color of this bird, I couldn't help but wonder just how beautiful the birds of Costa Rica will be on my upcoming trip. I can't wait to share with you guys all the amazing sightings I had, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for when they drop, and I'll see you guys next time.